Um, our next speaker here today is Piotr from Golem Software. I will check my clicker if it works. Thanks, Anastasia, for getting me here. Uh, nice to see, see you all. Back in early 2000s, when I was a student, there were no high bandwidth mobile internet access, at least in Poland. And uh, together with my friends, we were trying to build an underground local network within dormitory we were living to share the files, to play games, you know. But it was not welcome, but our uh, manager, he was cutting our wires from time to time. It didn't stop us, but he slowed down the network growth. What's more, we were trying to connect our local network to the internet via Wi-Fi connection directly to our department building. But it was unstable because of distance. It was about 200 meters or more. At the same time, there was a computer lab at the dormitory with uh, permanent fast internet access, but with only f 20 computers with access restriction with monitoring. And when I'm thinking about it, I, I'm finding a lot of similarities to the internet today. Let's, let's find those simil similarities to the area, local area network uh, resembles me the decentralized self-governed network as a blockchain. Fr friends of mine uh, are similar to the friendly project, projects with, with the community. Restrict restricted lab uh, it is obvious that it resembles big brothers of today internet, Facebook, Google, Amazon, the Justin, Justin just uh, before me described them perfectly. Dormitory manager uh, seems to me like a bank who is uh, withholding services for cryptocurrency companies like exchanges and unstable Wi-Fi to the faculty building. It is early built application which pure UX, uh, good for enthusiasts like me and you, but not for the average user, right? My name is Piotr Chomietz and I am uh, working for Golem Factory. I will try to familiarize your, uh, you with, with our current state of work. How many of you heard about Golem already? Okay, quite, quite some. Uh, for, the, for those um, who aren't familiar, the orig original idea was born in 2014, so it is al already five years. We were crowdfunded three years ago and uh, last year we have launched it on Ethereum mainnet. Golem aims to create an open and market for plat and platform for computing resources, which means to enable me and you to share computing power between us. Golem network participants are acting in two roles. One of them being requester, who want to buy computation, 
and second one being provider who owns the machine, who wants to monetize it. All services that we are building need the underlying infrastructure. And most of them today are using cloud provi providers. The Justin Graphene being the pro proud uh, exception for this rule, right? Keeping, keep finger crossed uh, for the graph, uh, Graphene of Justin. But this is, the hosting at, at web, uh, at uh, cloud providers is, is web 2.0 style, right? And we are talking here about web 3.0. And the real computational capacity of the big brothers are really unknown for us. But I risk the statement that whole capacity of the internet users of uh, us as a whole is even bigger. But the question is how to utilize this potential, this giant potential. Golem, Golem has already uh, done first steps. I would compare them to the Wi-Fi connection because it, it is unstable, but we are progressing, we are dedicated to, the, uh, to this idea. Uh, with Golem, parties are able to discover, to communicate, and to enter into a contract without need to tr trust each other. This is what happens when you download and install a Golem. Users uh, are earning GNTs, which is our own cryptocurrency token based on Ethereum. You can try it if you want. The, the central to the Golem is the pro underlying protocol because it enables us to attract developers to build Golem apps and to enable wide user adoption. Safety of the network is the first concern. How to buy computation when the provider is unknown, when you don't trust him. How to uh, sell processing power to, to the party which you don't know anything about. And there is no courts, no other central authorities. How to reduce malicious user impact on the network as a whole. How to order and pay for that task which you don't have ability to estimate size a priori. Those are the questions. Our code is open source, of course. We support, support all three main operating systems to enable all users. But more importantly, our protocol is open from both sides, from the supply side and from the demand side. I, it is opposite to the cloud providers because they are publishing only the uh, supply side. And with the demand side opened, third party developers can discover the market trends and build and even build dedicated unique application on top of the golem another thing is trust we are achieving it by aforementioned safety and openness but also by the lack of the central authority our ultimate goal is to let Golem to the place where we, Golem Factory, are not needed anymore. The, commu the community will maintain and develop the network as being only the advisors, not any distinguished uh, party authority. It is, it is an ultimate goal of decentralization, isn't it? 
who knows Satoshi Sakamoto, Nakamoto. It, it is not needed. And the ultimate uh, desire is, from, from the user perspective, is freedom, right? Uh, requesters in the Golem net can easily change the provider who do the computation for them. For what, whatever reason, for the price, for the quality, for the, uh, let's say, for other things. And requester can easily change the provider. It is opposite to the uh, public clouds, right? Because you, it is hard to switch the vendor when you are hosted on private cloud. Furthermore, network participants are, are anonymous. We just identify them by Ethereum keys, which poses Sybil attack, as you may know. And as Paul Warren told me yesterday, uh, we can use biometrics to mitigate this, this treat. But it is there. Our goal and our concern at Golem is also to embrace an endless uh, vi variety, variety of software, hardware, and uh, computing s services. Uh, there is new hardware emerging, like TPU, Tensor Processing Unit from, for ML, designed by Google and proprietary, but who knows, it might hit the market. Uh, and there is even more, new computing models, trusted execution environments that you probably, probably n uh, have in your laptops uh, because Intel has incorporated SGX uh, some uh, uh, w about two, day, two years ago. And this enables me to run the computation on your computer and you cannot see what I what's inside. It is a protected enclave within the processor itself, Intel processor. You cannot touch any bit. Read on the right or write. It is fully enclosed. So Golem is working on the Graphene Consortium together with Intel, with ETL and original Graphene creators to enable developers to use this technology. We, we all at this stage are talking about decentralization because the, this is the topic of this stage. This is our desire. Even Pope Francis commenting his desire to reform church governance said, I am conscious of the need to the promote a sound decentralization, you know? But decentralization is not a value itself. It makes sense when it adds some, brings another value. Average user is not interested in it, it how product works. For example, when you need to commute, you may buy a car or a bike. I'm a bike freak, so I, I care about this nitty gritty uh, things inside my bike, but I don't care about engine in within my car, right? So average users do not care about decentralization. They want, they want privacy, they want data ownership, and so on. And the decentralization is only tool to achieve this, the mechanism to achieve this. For example, Golem is not pushing uh, decentralization. For example, we were, we were struggling in uh, verification of our first use case, which is photorealistic rendering of images. It is non-deterministic process, so verification is not easy, and there is no 
decentralized, easy decentralized way to achieve this. So we decided to build central component initially to test it, to, uh, to check if user, users will be using it. It is optional, it is run by us, but this is the first, the initial version. Just to, to push things forward. Another thing, uh, and it is the last thing I, I want to introduce, is our uh, one of the, our newest sub-projects, because initially we, we were uh, focused on single-user machi machines, but, th but then we, are, we have realized that there are potential within, let's say, office desktops. Some, uh, one of the big comp corporation called us to enable using the resources for their internal needs. And this is Golem Unlimited, which is a sub-network consisting of trusted components, trusted nodes. One owner of this can, can uh, uh, impose this trust. And trust enables us to simplify the, uh, the whole des design, to get rid of economic, to get rid of uh, sandboxing, security uh, considerations at all. And Golem Unlimited can act as a single FAT provider within the public network, but it's still a private sub-network. You can, you can use it in inside your company or team. Uh, I want to go, go back to the, to the, to the dormitory. After one of the manager interventions, when, we, when he cut my wires, I was really mad. I, <laughs> I <laughs> even uh, considering uh, submitting a, a complaint to the rector of the Warsaw University, you know? But after a night's sleep uh, in the morning, when I cooled down, I decided to go to him and to offer my cooperation, to build a network for all dormitory uh, residents, not all, the, not just the rebellions, as me and you, as you gathered here, but for all. And after two long years, it is terrifically long time for the student. We have made it, and I believe we will made it with Golem, because we have dedicated team, and we are together uh, and looking to cooperation with you. Thanks.